run to the H9 block. This has also been modified for English paper piecing to be a little easier. And here is the modification. They've taken away this kind of bit, which makes it a lot easier. So they've, you know, made this one big piece in the triangles. I actually like this. So I have my pieces already laid out. And then I also have the diamonds right here. And the diamonds get applique on um, on the white parts after I'm done piecing my block. If you've seen the bag sort video, then you know that the arrows are for my fabric direction so that my fabric will then radiate out from the middle because I have a very directional fabric. And that's also the same way that these are as well. So I will line up my arrows with what I marked on my piece of paper. And this is my reminder because it was a while ago when I did my bag sort. So I wanted to make sure that I get everything lined up just right. So how I'm going to start this is I'm going to, of course, I'm going to baste these. I'm going to baste these sides first and then these sides. It doesn't really matter. I, I will do it consistently, though, because if you do consistently, like let's say you start here and then you do this one, you want to do every single one of them the same way because then the tags in the middle will end up being in a little pinwheel so that they won't be fighting each other. So I'll do this one here this one here and then I'll do the tops and I'll do them all real the same way so that my tags will then end up in the same direction. These I'm going to do these two sides first and then this so my tags on this will go out and they'll be in the sashing rather than interfering with any tags in the middle. And then these won't, ma won't matter where my tags are because I'm going to applique them but I'm going to do opposite sides so that that's just how I have developed it. So then I'm going to piece these into pairs. So I will most likely do these in here because this then gets attached to this. So I'll make these in quadrants. So you'll have these two triangles, these two triangles, and so on and so forth. And then I'll put the triangle on so then you'll have a square unit. And then it's a matter of just piecing your square units together and you'll have your block pieced together and then you can applique. So I got my pieces taped together. This one is stitched and I've got them ready to be paired with their corner piece. So what we're going to have then is this kind of a number going on and each four of the segments. Okay, so I got each of my four units done and I've got this one taped ready to be connected and then I'm just gonna put these together. Then I will be ready to place my applique pieces that I will be basting opposite sides together. So I'll be doing one and two and three and four. Okay, so I put my, um, I got this taped and when I put the two together, I got my tags fanning as such. So these four fall this way, and these four also fall the same direction, so they fall this way. When you go to put them together, that's when they make the pinwheel, because they nest together. And if they don't, you can push them, because you have to move them around to get to the seams. So if you push them down, they should be in a spinning. But I reached the middle with my stitching and I wanted to show you. So I've, I am right here with my seam. Let me get my stiletto. All right, so I have, I have stitched to there and I have to cross this gaping hole. So my next stitch needs to be from here to here. So I'm gonna leave this like this and I'm gonna put my needle in here and pick this up. So I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna pull it through. 
and then I'm going to put that stitch in the same location right where and that way it'll it'll close it up and I'm going to pull pretty t pretty tight and so once that does is then that's going to help bring that together real nice so it's kind of a spinning thing and the and it will chill out a bit more even when you take the papers out but that's how you get that spinny part in the middle and then I'm going to keep going down and finish my seam and once I'm done I will sit here and I will push these back down and just refan them so I just make them kind of go back to the way they were and that's they're sticking up so you get the point all right, now to add the applique pieces, and I've got them all so that my fabric, my stems of my flowers will be in the middle. So you've got, you've already got your middle point shown for you. So each one of these, this is going to be where this point needs to be pointing to. And then in the middle, you're going to have, obviously, so you actually got marks to line these up with. The idea is to get the distance from here to here and from here to here about equal. So I'm going to look at this. And then the other thing you can do is you can check the visual line here and here. And that will help you out with alignment as well. And then I'm going to take my stapler. And staple this down. And I'm going to do the same for the other three. So I got all four of my pieces put on, but I'm going to redo two of them. Because if you look, I've got a little bit more white here than I do here on each of these. And I'm not happy with that. And I think one of them might be a little bit too far. Yeah, this one looks like it's a bit too far to the edge. But the biggest lineup is these two. And then if you hold it straight out, you can see that for me, it's a little off. So I'm going to adjust those and then the rest of the adjustments I can do as I applique. I wanted to make a note about when I applique diamonds down. You've got a big flag here and a little tiny point. So what I do is I will fold it over once. I will fold the entire flag over. And this is why I love my stiletto. I will, so you want to get a straight flat edge on this side. So that's why I'm going to make sure I get all my little bits right under there. Okay. So I'm going to have all those. And then I'm going to stitch up to the point and I'm going to leave this open. So let me stitch to the point and then show you what I do after that. Okay, so I have stitched all the way to the point and I have my thread right there at the point and I have the rest of this tag to take care of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tuck this right under so I can get a good, I'll fold this under kind of like this and just kind of work it in slowly and I'm just kind of rolling it and holding this kind of rolling it and so then when I look down on it yes this is a little bump but you want to make sure that it doesn't come out here so what I got now is something to work with and when I stitch this I will be able to push this in too and that's how I get my points on my diamonds. So now that I've started stitching, I wanted to show you what I do. What I do here is I will take my needle and come in here and take up a stitch on the bottom first. And then, once I pick that up, I'm going to come in here and... Normally I can do all this in one big stitch, but I'll do this individually when we've got such thickness here. 
and then what it'll do is it'll put, push that bulk down into my block and it'll be a lot easier to deal with. So now you can see how my stitches ended up and all that bulk is under there still but it'll it'll all settle into the batting and all that. And that's what it looks like from the top. Alright so I have three of my diamonds appliqued down and I wasn't paying attention on the third one and I'm still debating about fixing it although I don't know that I'm gonna and what happened was I pushed it when I went to push uh, my tip underneath I pushed the actual diamond and so you can see that this bit is off center to the left quite a quite a bit and then there were other two what I may do is orient it so it's not so obvious but it may bother me enough to fix it but I just wanted to show you how you could influence the way this goes on because these do have the opportunity to shift a bit you can push them with the staples the staples help a lot but you can influence where they end up so just be very careful see because it and in this situation it really matters because you have to do your best to make sure that this stays um, along the shape okay I finished all of my applique and I did go back and fix the one point because it was off enough to bother me so now I have a completed H9 block.